Well, good thing we have to dig like four of them, right? So that was, oh, you're right, that's, that's ice. Isn't it? I can't tell. Yeah, right there. Sorry, I didn't want to right there. Right there. That's like just dirt. Right? Just. That's frozen. I don't remember them being this hard last year. We dug holes before this time frame. Morning everyone, as you can tell, we've got one chicken that hatched her eggs. So we haven't really looked under there yet, but we know there's at least three chicks under there that are popping around. So over the course of today, we're gonna be checking her out and see how she's doing. Yesterday we came out here with plans to build another lean-to over here. We have all of our roofing and our two by fours, but we quickly realized that the ground was still frozen. We've been using our digging bar, and we can only get in at about six inches. So pretty much gonna have to scrap that idea. For at least a few more days, the temperatures are getting warmer. I think the high today is gonna to be over 50 degrees. So we're gonna hold off on the lean-to, but we do have some other stuff we wanna work on in the chicken coop. One of the things over here is we're gonna put in a window. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we put in this really cool wall uh, last winter to keep the snow out of this area, but we are thinking it'd be really cool. We have some extra windows that we got for free to put a big window in here. That way we can let some sunshine in there, but it's also gonna keep the snow out when winter comes again. So this was an area that the chickens hung out a lot in over the winter. So we want to get a little more sun in there for them. We're going to get a water built for them. We're going to make a new feeder. We're going to get the bark scraped off the logs that we're going to use for the lean-to. And we're probably going to get to a couple more things, but we're going to get started.
Okay, we finished the window. It turned out really nice. We're pretty excited about it. Um, this is going to let a lot more of that southern light in in the winter. So the chickens really only hung out under the coop, in the coop, and right here. They didn't venture way too much outside, so I'm excited about this letting in that sun for them, and it'll probably keep it a little warmer under there too. Now we're going to move on to making our chicken water and a few more little feed bins for them this summer. All right, we're going to get started on putting together our chicken nipple water. And if you never heard of a chicken nipple, it is basically these little waters that you can hook onto a PVC pipe or a bucket. We like to use five gallon buckets and they go underneath. You hang the bucket up in the air and the chickens kind of just peck at it and that's what lets the water out. So when it's just sitting here, no water is actually draining out. The reason we like these so much is it keeps the water really clean. You have a lid on it and it's not just sitting out. And another reason we really like it is you can fit five gallons of water in here. So we're gonna get started on building this. Each pack comes with four of the little nipples. We've built quite a few of these and we've used Teflon tape to kind of get a really good seal on these and we've also used silicone. We're gonna use Teflon tape today. So just do a thin layer on each of these and they have threads on them. Then you just thread it right into the hole. And we used to keep these in our chicken tractors when we used to run our chickens in tractors. And for us, there's no really training your chickens to these. You basically just put it in there and they immediately started using it. So that's happened every single time we've put one of these in the coop. So it's, for us, it's pretty easy to get the chickens used to these. We're all finished with the water and that's how it's gonna hang. We're not gonna hang this up quite yet. We're still getting into the freezing temperatures at night. So we're just coming out every day and filling up a tub of water for them. I just wanted to show you guys another water that we use that we really like, and that's just the galvanized waters. These ones seem to just not break. We've used a lot of the plastic ones. We've had trouble with them cracking and the plastic ones grow algae in them a little more. So this is another one we're gonna be hanging on the lean-to over there. And then we'll put this one over here as soon as we get out of the freezing temperatures. Now what we're gonna be working on is we're gonna build another feeder for the chickens. So we're gonna be building a really easy chicken feeder and we're just using some leftover metal roofing. This looks like it's a gutter or maybe the part that goes on the top of the metal roofing. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut this down to the size I want. This is the size we're gonna be making and it's kind of just flat right now. I'm gonna bend it so it's a little more of a V and that's gonna hold the food in there for us. And then once we get that bent, we're gonna make some little tabs on the end. We're gonna hook this two by four on each end and that'll hold the food in there and it'll also hold this secure. So that's it, that's gonna be the side. And as soon as I get this two by four cut in half, it's gonna go like that. And this will kind of hold it steady and hold some of the food in here. I'm gonna go over it now with the snips and kind of get rid of some of these sharp edges. The feeder is all done. I'm gonna stick it in the coop and I'll show you the one we built last year. Right now, um, we like to use these just various buckets to put their feed in. We ferment their feed, so it does have moisture in it. Um, that's why we just have these smaller ones so we can kind of, they can eat through it every single day and it's not gonna freeze out here. But here's the one we built last year and it's kind of out of a smaller piece of metal. That's gonna be good for the baby chicks. And then here's gonna be the big one. This will be good if we're ever leaving for a longer period of time. It's gonna hold a lot more food. So I'm gonna stick some of this food in here now. So these are a really good, just, you know, low cost feeder. Uh, the only downside of these is the chickens usually do jump in here. We have just certain ones that like to jump in and kind of scratch the feed out and it goes on the ground, but they do end up eating it. So while we're out here, we raised our gate up when we had all that snow on the ground because it was hitting the ground. And now that the snow's gone, the gate is about six inches too high. So we're gonna go ahead and lower it back down. Um out with the bottom right there. That's sick. Waiter. Can I ask you a question? Yep. The two by the two by four is on the outside, right? I don't need to dig where the two by four is. No. Two by four is the outer edge of the okay. thing.
finished marking out our measurements for our lean-to and started to dig the holes. It's probably going to be another two weeks before we can actually dig the holes, the depths we need for the posts. Uh, one thing we're going to be doing um, in a few weeks is also putting up some poultry netting. Last year we had really not good luck with the hawks and this year we kind of just want to nip that in the butt and we're going to be putting up some netting. It's going to be extremely challenging with all these trees. We're just going to figure out a way to make it happen. But we're not quite done working today. I'm going to have Eric show you guys how many chicks have hatched so far. So this hen started hatching this morning. We noticed the first one got out. She had nine eggs under her, and we so far it's kind of hard to tell because they keep popping in and out, but we've counted seven little healthy baby chicks. So that's pretty cool. And then the one on the way end over there, she'll be due tomorrow or the next day. One last thing we want to get done today is we need to get two more logs picked out that we're going to use as the posts for the lean-to, and then we're going to get those peeled with our draw knife.